the universe. It's big. And not just big, but really, 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 really big. When I look up into the night sky, it's hard to not feel a sense of awe and insignificance. I mean, after all, we merely exist on a tiny pale blue dot floating around an average sized star near the edge of an average sized galaxy. Size wise, there's nothing really special about our corner of the universe. So today, to show just how immense the cosmos can be, we'll be looking at some of the most extreme examples of size in the universe. The Sun is the largest object in our solar system. With a diameter of 1,391,016 kilometers, it's about 109 times wider than the Earth. However, if we compare the Sun to other known stars, it turns out the Sun is pretty average in size and is merely a tiny dot when compared to some of the largest stars. To see what I mean, let's take a look at the largest known star, Stevenson 2-18. Located 19,570 light years away from Earth in the Stevenson 2 star cluster, this star is estimated to be 2,150 times wider than our Sun and 500,000 times brighter. This would give the star a diameter of 2,990,684,000 kilometers at the equator. This is absolutely massive and kind of hard to comprehend. To provide some perspective, if you circumnavigated the sun's equator at the speed of light, it would take you 14.5 seconds to make a full orbit. On the other hand, if you were to circumnavigate Stevenson 2-18 at the speed of light, it would take you almost 9 hours. If this star were to be plopped on top of the sun, it would engulf the orbit of Saturn and everything in between. The Earth itself would be toast. Black holes are the largest known single bodies in the universe. In fact, technically they don't even have a size limit. If given an infinite amount of matter to consume and an infinite amount of time to grow, a black hole could theoretically expand to an infinite size. But since it takes time for a black hole to grow, and the universe is believed to have existed for a finite amount of time, then logically there should be a limit on how large a black hole can currently be. However, this theoretical limit has failed to stop some of the most massive black holes from exceeding this limit. Let's take a look at Ton 618, the largest discovered black hole. Shining with the brightness of 100 trillion suns, Ton 618 is so massive that it outweighs all the stars in our Milky Way galaxy combined. This black hole comes in at a whopping 66 billion solar masses, meaning it weighs 66 billion times more than our sun. In contrast, all the stars in our galaxy combined weigh about 64 billion solar masses. It's also so wide that you could fit 11 of our solar systems within it side by side. But wait, there's more. We currently see ton 618 as it looked 10 billion years ago since it's so far away. So it's had 10 billion years to grow even larger than how we currently see it. So who knows just how large this monster really is. Galaxies are some of the most massive cosmic structures in the universe. Often spanning hundreds of thousands of light years and containing hundreds of billions of stars, it can be difficult trying to comprehend just how large these cosmic beasts are. And some of these galaxies absolutely dwarf others. The Milky Way galaxy is estimated to be around 100,000 light years across and contain 100 to 400 billion stars. This may seem massive, and it most certainly is, but it pales in comparison to the largest galaxy, IC1101. Now, I already know that some of you are going to say that the Alcyonius galaxy is technically the largest at 16.3 million light years across, but seeing as it's a radio galaxy, I'm not going to count it. IC1101 is located about 1 billion light years away from Earth and can be found in the Able 229 galaxy cluster. It's believed the galaxy formed when smaller galaxies collided and combined with each other over billions of years. 
This ancient galaxy is estimated to be about 4 million light years across and contain about 100 trillion stars. That's trillion with a T. This means it's 40 times wider than the Milky Way and holds 250 to 1,000 more stars. As you can see, our galaxy looks rather puny next to IC1101. Although it may wear the crown now, this massive size won't last forever. IC1101 is left mostly with old stars that will reach the end of their lives relatively soon on a cosmological scale. As they die out, the galaxy will become smaller and smaller until it eventually fades away into darkness. Now this next one is a little different. Instead of the largest thing or things, this is the largest absence of things. Although not completely empty, a cosmic void is a region of space with few galaxies and little matter within. Researchers believe that our own galaxy resides within a void named the KBC Void. At roughly 1 billion light years wide, this is one of the largest known voids. Voids along with superclusters are believed to be the largest things in the universe, and the largest of these voids is thought to be the Eridanus Supervoid. Located 2 billion light years away from Earth in the Eridanus constellation, this massive cigar shaped void is 1.8 billion light years wide. With the observable universe being 94 billion light years wide, this void stretches across nearly 2% of the universe. I think it's safe to say being in the center of this dark portion of space may be the loneliest place in the cosmos. So, based on what we currently know about the universe, what gets the absolute unequivocal gold medal of size? Well, that first place medal would have to go to galactic superclusters. To understand what a supercluster is, you need to understand how we categorize structures in the universe. You see, galaxies tend to be clustered together in small groups. These groups generally contain 10 to 50 galaxies and span roughly 5 million light years. The Milky Way is part of a group aptly named the Local Group, which contains more than 30 galaxies. These galaxy groups make up structures called galaxy clusters. These clusters can contain hundreds to tens of thousands of galaxies and are the largest gravitationally bound structures in the universe. Our local group is part of the Virgo Cluster. Going up one more step, we come to the largest known structures in the observable universe, superclusters. Superclusters typically contain 3 to 10 galaxy clusters and can span hundreds of millions to billions of light years. We reside within the Laniakea Supercluster, which stretches 520 million light years and is home to over 100,000 galaxies. But this pales in comparison to the largest known supercluster. This brings us to the king of the ring of size, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall Supercluster. Coming in at an estimated 9.6 to 10.5 billion light years, this monster stretches across more than 10% of the observable universe. Unfortunately, we don't know how many galaxies it contains as it's so far away that most of their light is too faint to see. Rightfully so, researchers have crowned this supercluster as the largest known structure in the universe. Well, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, consider giving the video a like and subscribing to our channel. Your support is what keeps the channel going. And as always, thanks for watching.